singing in the rain. Just singing. His dance is very accessible. It looks like he wanted to make it so that the common man, the common guy on the street, would feel that a relationship with it. What I really want to do is focus on the fact that he created these things. He's behind the camera directing. He's directing how that camera is used. And he's choreographing each of the pieces that you see. Broadway rhythm. He looked around and he said, there was no model for him. How does the American male move? I think one of the things that distinguishes Gene's dance is the athleticism, the fact that it's, it's a robust style of dance. Gene studied all forms of dance. People don't realize that either, but he was a classically tra trained ballet dancer. He actually had auditioned for the Ballet Russe and was offered a position in the corps. And that gave him that central core line of ballet. And then he studied Spanish dance. He was a trained gymnast. He was an acrobat. What Gene did with dance was that he used the dance to tell the story. So whatever character he's playing, he then adopted the dance style to fit that character. Faut danser comme un chauffeur de camion. Si vous êtes matelot, il faut danser comme matelot. Il faut changer le style. Quand on descend le camion, si on descend comme ça, c'est ridicule. <laughs> So if you look at his style of dance, it's very broad and very wide open strokes. When he started working on a movie called Cover Girl, he had an opportunity to work with the camera and the dance in an extraordinary way. So Gene was looking for ways to move the camera and create a, a kinetic movement sense with moving at the camera so that the dance appears rounder and more full-figured. Cine dance, I mean, really is a term that Gene coined and wrote articles about it. I think before Gene, what you see is usually that the camera was in one position and it was uh, the dance numbers could essentially be cut out of the, the movie. So Gene is instead, he's the, making the dance integrated into the story. And the camera is moving in a way so that it's essentially another character. And, and so he's choreographing both his own movement and the movement of the camera. One of the things that he began to experiment with very early on was the use of live action and animation. It was, it was so complicated because the camera operator had to keep, in the crosshairs, had to keep Gene in the, in the camera eye and also imagine where the mouse was going to be. I was sitting with Gene when he opened the Los Angeles Times newspaper when Roger Rabbit came out. It said that it was the first time ever that anyone had done live action and animation, and Gene was sitting there thinking, well, I think somebody else did a little of that too. literally took the dancing into the street because that was a way that he could use the camera, move the camera, and choreograph it as much as he's choreographing himself. So he's able to have this big, broad, expansive dance that you just simply didn't see before Gene Kelly. This is Paris, and I'm an American who lives here. Paris is a mood. Gene told me that the composer Irving Berlin was coming out of the MGM building and Gene was walking in and Berlin looks at Gene and said, 17 minutes and all music, and no words. He said, I hope you know what you're doing, kid. And Gene said, for just a moment, there was this frisson of, uh, but 
he knew, and Gene is the director of the ballet. It was Gene behind the camera, and he's the name director for the, that sequence. Ici à l'opéra, on danse la classique euh, presque toujours. Donc vous avez introduit le jazz à l'opéra, si l'on peut dire. Oui, oui, chaque matin, on a un lesson de jazz pour la première trois, quatre semaines. Jean told me that it was very, very difficult to get the dancers who had been classically trained to learn how to drop their bodies and to dance jazz and to get them to be able to uh, dance on the second beat. He said he had to spend one day just teaching them how the jazz beat. Je dois dire que j'ai beaucoup appris avec Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly m'a appris beaucoup, euh, apporté énormément au cours du tournage des Demoiselles de Rochefort. Il était le chorégraphe du film ou... Il s'est mis, il s'est chorégraphié lui-même. C'est-à-dire que les séquences qui sont avec Gene, euh, il les a chorégraphiées lui-même, oui. Et pour le corps de ballet, c'était un chorégraphe anglais qui s'appelle Norman Mann qui a fait euh, la chorégraphie. But then Gene did work with Jacques in, in putting the camera so that the camera is moving in some of the sequences. And so I think that was very, um, that kind of changed Jacques Demy's trajectory as well. Gene was always looking for ways to, to broaden the horizons, to, to use dance in a different way, to use the camera in a different way. One of the things that people really don't know is how revolutionary Gene's work was and how it really changed uh, not only dance on film, but cinema itself. No, you work, you work, okay. Bonjour, bonsoir.